We were put in coffins, hung by ropes. The mental scars of what happened to Dave here 50 years ago run deep. One of the many who've spoken about horrific abuse they faced at St Ninian's, a school run by the Christian Brothers until 1983. And the lifelong trauma of that lives with you forever. But you could be sent here for, for no other crime than being an orphan. And that affected your whole life. You were given £70,000 compensation. We've heard today someone is being awarded over a million pounds. How did you feel hearing that? We've got to celebrate it. This is fantastic news. This is what's achievable. I mean, I cried last night for joy. You know, this could, this could, you know, this could get more people coming forward. That man, a pupil at the school in Fife between 1980 and 1981, was named in court as AB to protect his identity. He said, finally, after nearly 40 years, I've been acknowledged and those responsible can be exposed. On speaking out, he added, it was terrifying but empowering, exhausting but freeing, painful but therapeutic. Six years ago, I covered the trial and conviction of John Farrell and Paul Kelly for physical and sexual abuse of pupils at the school. AB suffered at the hands of these two and another brother, Brother Ryan, who died before trial. AB's evidence played no role in any convictions. But it was part of a civil case which the Christian brothers tried to have thrown out, claiming there were large gaps in AB's evidence. A sheriff, though ruling they were liable to pay £1.4 in damages, understood to be the highest sum ever awarded to a survivor. What this case will do, will, it will reinforce to, to these survivors of abuse that their voices will be heard, their stories will be believed and that they can come forward to seek some form of justice for, for what they've gone through. That's Dave's aim as he campaigns to raise awareness of a compensation scheme set up by the Scottish Government, offering up to £100,000 to those abused while in care. We have a moral and ethical obligation to do everything we can to reach out and find every one of these people and make sure they get some kind of closure. Processing what happened in this place is part of that for Dave. Having come back here multiple times as an adult, he says today will be his final visit. Alan Jenkins, 5 News.